Welcome back. So now that the delete is working uh, in some way, we want to kind of work on the update now so that we can start working with that button right here. So let's start out with just jumping into our joke details, um, this page right here. What we want to do first is kind of make an action. So when we click the update button, we can kind of do an update, right? So I'm inside the details joke HTML file right here. And notice that we made a click event for the delete button right now, but we've not made one yet for our beautiful update button. So I'm just going to make a couple of lines again, like we did last time and I'm going to um, add a click event, right? So again, this should be something that starts making sense now because we've done it a lot of times and this is how simple it is to make a click event. Click and we just say now we want to do an update this time instead of a delete, right? So that's kind of the goal right here to call an update. Now we're going to make this easy actually. We're just going to send in the joke that has actually been updated. So if you change anything in these two areas, we're going to actually pass that data down and save it in the local storage. So for now, let's just jump into our click event right here and create that inside the, the details joke right here. We have the delete right here. So let's just write above it, create a new one that's just called update. There we go. So now we have the update uh, action available right here. And uh, we're going to use that action, of course, in the next couple of lessons. But again, just to make sure that this is actually already uh, running, let's do a console log and let's just print out a small message, update it something like that. So to just update the joke, right? So I've saved both areas. Come back to my application right here. I'm going to click, go to the list, go to the specific joke. And when I press the update right here, it should actually pop down with a small console lock here. And there we go. Update it. Update that, 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 that. So this should really start making sense now. And this is how, again, all the files are bound together. So whenever you have an HTML file, you also have a TS file in Angular or in Yannick. And right here, you can see what the HTML file should be for the specific TS file. And in this case, it's the details joke HTML. We just went in here, we just added a new click event. So now we can actually start updating this beautiful, beautiful joke we have available. See you in the next lesson where we start working on that update.